to believe. Believe they even exist. And when the truth finally dawns, it dawns in fire. With each game, we sort of start over uh, with what we want to do with the Elder Scrolls. We knew we get a lot still out of the out of the new out of the current generation of hardware. So we basically rewrote that we have a new render, uh, new animation system, new user interface, new AI. So it's basically a whole new engine. We call it the Creation Engine. Each each game we've done on the on the current generation of, of hardware for PC and consoles, we learn more new tricks, ways to do more with the current you know with the hardware. But what we wanted to do is not make the world freeze around you. So when you're in dialogue, uh, the world keeps going around. You know things keep happening. You're not frozen. In time. And we have a new animation system, so we've improved our animations for both first and third person. Uh, it's primarily a first person game, but a lot of people like to play in third person, so we wanted to make that feel more like you're part of the world. We, just, you know, we have a great team that's been working on the Elder Scrolls game. A lot of the same core people have been here for 10 years, and so we just build upon what we've done with each game. Uh, it's pretty deep. There's a lot of uh, online fan websites as well that track it and Wikipedias and stuff. And then in the game itself, like we have over 300 books that you can pick up. They're 3D objects. You can pick them up and read them. There's a lot of lore in those, as well as the different quest lines we have. So there's, there's a lot there for fans that really want to get into it.